Hey there everyone so Quen has released their largest model in the Quen 3 family and that is Quen 3 Max preview it is a 1 trillion parameter model and if you look at the benchmarks you can clearly see that it seems to outperform every other model in its non thinking mode even Claude 4 Opus they didn't include Claude Opus 4.1 that's kind of strange but if you compare non thinking variants you can clearly see that cloud opus 4 is defeated and quen 3 max is ahead so today we'll be looking into it you know we'll be comparing cloud opus 4.1 non thinking and quen 3 max preview to see if these benchmarks are actually true if you look at the pricing of these two models you can see that cloud opus 4.1 is sitting around 15 dollars per million input tokens and 75 dollars per million output tokens on the other hand quen max is just 1 dollars and 20 cents per million input tokens and 6 dollars per million output token so it's 12.5 times cheaper and insanely large difference if it is able to perform as good as opus 4.1 in the non thinking mode then it's going to be awesome so without further ado let's get into the comparison towards my left i have opus 4.1 i have disabled the thinking and also i am disabling any kind of system prompt that open router adds and towards my right i have quen 3 max preview so let's do the comparison the first question is can you draw a dragon in a web page using html css and js so side view of the dragon and give a best implementation in one single code so let's send this to both models and let's see who gives us a better response okay everyone we have got the responses and you can see both have done actually a very good job if you look at opus we are clearly able to dist- with the nose head eyes you know all the body parts wings tail and all of that it is very clearly defined talking about quen even quen has done a good job at it you know it has the wings the bodies they well defined it also has ground a very good response from both but personally i would say that opus is slightly better so i'll give this win to opus let's move on to next question so the next question is build absolutely the best implementation of super mario game in a web page without using any external assets and in one single code so let's look at the responses okay everyone we have the responses so let's start off with opus first so we'll preview this in a new page and i think we don't need to maximize the screen because the window is in itself is actually small so let's play we have to use wasd commands and uh, nice i'm able to move i'm able to grow as well it looks phenomenally good i have to say that the enemies are not moving okay here they are moving the game also feels smooth and it says victory if we hit play again we are ab- again able to play very nice and overall the game is very smooth guys so let's keep this aside and let's see what quen has come up with so this is what quen has come up with okay i have to play again so if i hit play again uh you can see the mario is kind of stuck at the top so i'll have to rerun this so let's rerun this let me wait for them to come and yes you can see the enemies you know they kind of vanish right in between you can see there they actually vanished so that shouldn't have happened but all in all it looks good and it says you win so both have again given a very good response i'll have to say that but i think opus was actually better you know the game was more i mean we were actually able to move front you know it was not enclosed in a single screen so comparatively i would personally prefer opus so that's a win for opus the next question is create the best implementation of the game angry birds in html css and js and in one single code so let's see what we get okay everyone we have the responses let's start off with opus so let me drag it okay you can see i'm able to drag the bird and if i release it goes and it says next level so let's try to hit it and if i hit it says next level nice now we have three picks let's hit it and okay i'll need one more try i think this time it should work so if i go and hit it it says next level yes it is working guys it is a working game let me try this in full screen so now you can see when i try it in full screen actually the pigs are way far let me try it again if i pull the slingshot you can see the bird doesn't go that far i mean the you know the power of the slingshot is very less so i think this has to be improved so we'll give that feedback once we have seen quen's response after that we'll decide okay quen also has come up with a good response i guess we have three birds we can pick a bird and okay if we pull the slingshot it it doesn't go the right way you can see if i pull it and release it doesn't go that far so i think both are very good responses but both need more power in their slingshot come up with the second iteration okay i've got the updated responses so let's look at opus first so let's hit play game and okay there's a lot of jiggling and stuff happening anyways let's try to hit it with the bird okay there is also some volume i'm not able to enable audio but 
it looks awesome i'm sure with multiple iterations one can come up with a very good angry bird clone let's hit it and let's see if you are able to finish the game now i think we'll need more birds okay so level complete so it is very good working response let's look at quen so this is what quen has generated let's move on to full screen so let's try to hit the pig okay i'm trying to hit the pig but uh, you can see it is going past it but it's not hitting it you know it's going through it but it's not hitting it so it says game over but we clearly were hitting these wooden blocks and stuff but uh, it didn't detect that so again comparatively i will have to say that opus is better but i have to say quen is also doing a very good job you know many models actually don't come up with a working response in the first place quen is actually giving a tough competition to opus so next up is create the best 3d flight simulator game with 3d environment and chase camera view of the flight use html css and js give your best implementation in one single code so let's see okay everyone we have got the responses so let's start off with opus we'll preview this in a new page and i think we should go into full screen it looks awesome although it does look like it is stationary but it's actually moving but it's very slow actually so now you can see i'm near to the bottom it is nice it has given us a working response so we'll let that go and move on to quen now so this is what quen has generated you can see it has buildings city lights and stuff but the plane is nowhere to be found okay i am able to you know change my direction using my mouse that is very clever actually so you can see i'm i think i'm able to move but it's very fast and it's kind of a weird uh, movement you know so comparatively i have to again say that opus is miles better you know it doesn't have the wackiness and also the plane is visible to us so again a win for opus so next up we are asking them to create a trading dashboard you know the question is create a trading view like web interface with simulated tick by tick updating data have candlesticks charts indicators and other tools to draw so let's see how they do let's end this question okay everyone we have got the responses let's start off with uh, opus 4.1 so you can see we have a very beautiful looking dashboard guys and you can see the data is actually updating tick by tick just as the real chart let me tell you this is not real chart it's a simulated data you can see the price is also updating tick by tick we can select indicators if i click select bollinger bands bollinger bands is visible we can enable and disable simple moving average and exponential moving average we also have volume insane guys we can have a line chart area chart bar chart bar chart is not visible nothing is visible actually so these three work we can also change the time frame it also has an order book we have option for fibonacci and if i select and release you, you can see the fibonacci is drawn we can also add horizontal lines we can draw trend lines i think we can add text so the text option is not working let's see if measure works so even measure is not working but all in all it is a very good response that it has given i truly like it and i'm impressed having said that let's keep this aside and let's see what quen has generated so we'll preview this and open it up in a new screen and now you can see even quen has generated a tick by tick updating chart we also have volume we can select 1 minute we can select 5 minutes 15 minutes and all that stuff we can also you know change the stock we can enable simple moving average if i select simple moving average it asks me the period that i want to you know enable so if i click apply i should see the simple moving average but i am not i am not seeing it it also has cross hair which is nice but where is the simple moving average it says it has applied the simple moving average indicator but i don't see the indicator let's hit exponential moving average okay when that is not visible rsi or bollinger bands so the indicators are not working let's see if you are able to draw trend lines okay so momentarily we saw a trend line and then it goes you can have a look see i draw a trend line and it stays for a while and then it goes again you can see i'll draw the horizontal line it will stay for a while and it will go same i think stands for fibonacci and rectangle as well so again it is a good response guys many models actually are not capable of giving me this you know simulated data and this up updating chart but i will have to say quen's response has some flaws so i will have to again give a win to opus next up write a python code for a hollow circle with an opening there are two balls inside it and whenever a ball exits two new balls appear we are now transitioning to python based problems which i sometimes call back end so let's see what they do okay we have the responses guys let's start off with opus let's paste the code and 
let's run it okay we have two balls why but i think we have gravity that is the reason they are trying to come down so we'll have to fix that we have to ask it to you know not have gravity so let's keep it aside and let's see what quen has generated we'll paste the code and run it okay that didn't run that was a fail so since we have to fix in opus as well so we'll share the error with quen and ask it to fix it and give us complete updated code okay we have got the updated responses let's start off with opus let's paste the code and let's run it okay we don't have gravity now and also the balls are kind of glowing i do like this effect let's see what happens when a ball exits okay two new balls appear but there's a weird issue you can see when balls kind of you know touch each other they stick like this and they are getting nowhere now now you can see a third ball is actually attached this is kind of wrong now you can see a lot of lumps have formed so this is not what we wanted but from its first response it is slightly better let's look at quen now let's paste the code and let's run it okay we have two balls and they are bouncing correctly the opening is mentioned right over here it's not that clear but you can see the balls doesn't have any kind of weird you know clumping kind of issue although i would say visually opus response was better but uh, it was doing a lot of things that we didn't ask for but that is not the case with quen it had error and it fixed it and it is a perfectly working response so comparatively i will give a wing to quen because uh, you know opus had that weird clumping issue which i didn't ask for so this win is for quen let's move on to the next question so next up the question is write a python program that simulates earth's rotation let's see what they come up with okay we have the responses so let's start off with opus we'll paste the code and let's run it we do see a black screen but it's not working okay we have an error now we have to move on to quen let's see if we run it immediately we don't see any kind of errors okay you can see the sun and the moon is revolving around it and it is a working response guys there is no competition i mean it's a clear win for quen i mean it looks very good i mean you can see the land masses are kind of crossing each other and stuff like that but compared to opus which gave us an error this is very good so again a win for quen 3 max let's move on to the next question next is we are asking them to create state of the art pacman game in python let's see what they do okay we have the responses from both let's start off with opus we'll paste the code and let's run it okay it looks good i like it the pacman's mouth is in the opposite direction you can see i am able to eat the pellets it actually looks very good guys i mean very few models have been able to you know give me a working response in one go and opus makes it seem like it is very easy i like the response let's look at quen so let's copy the code paste it and let's run it okay ready again it is a working response but the ghost is not moving they are kind of stuck in the place so it is a nice response guys the maze and everything is very nice but the ghost is not moving so comparatively it is a slightly bit worse response compared to opus so i will give this win to opus so what can we say who is the winner then we tested five front end questions and three python based problems in in all five questions opus was better but i have to say a very big and important thing opus was just slightly better guys quen 3 max was giving a tough competition a very tough competition and we had to actually nitpick stuff you know to declare a winner and that is a very important thing to consider you know given the price which is 12 times you know when you compare quen and opus 4.1 talking about the back end Quen 3 Max actually wins and defeats Opus. You know, in the bouncing balls and Earth's rotation question, it wins. Whereas in the Pac-Man question, it slightly loses. Again, I have to say that, guys, throughout the whole competition, the competition was neck to neck. Quen 3 Max was giving it a very tough competition while being very cheap. So what can we say clearly? See, Opus in my competitions and even in my recommendations is said to be the best model for coding it's it is still the best model for coding if money is not a concern you should go for opus the raw coding performance is very nice the agentic performance might be a bit here and there for agentic i would prefer gpt5 but for the raw coding performance the generation you know the base generation whenever you are starting with an empty code base in that scenario very good aesthetics and working responses you will get from opus 4.1 but the point is for almost all of us opus 4.1 is not a feasible model given the insane price it has and that is where quen 3 max comes in quen 3 max is slightly lower in performance but it gets the job done while being very very cheap 
it is 12.5 times cheaper guys and brings the price to a point that we can easily use it so yeah the winner is opus 4.1 but you did saw the neck to neck comparison between quen 3 max and opus 4.1 and i have to really appreciate quen 3 max what it has been able to achieve it's just a 1 trillion parameter model i mean i'm seeing just 1 trillion because other models like opus are very large compared to this i hope i was able to give you some valuable information and it will help to you know gauge which model to use where if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and hype this video so that more and more people are able to see this video and that really helps me a lot with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one